Hey guys, I'm Allison. <clears throat> hey guys, I'm Allison. I'm the Pampered Wife. Today we are going to have just a conversation while I put on my makeup. I have not been on YouTube for a while. I actually filmed a video that I've never even edited or posted. So we're just going to talk a little bit while I put on my makeup. It's not uh, one of those festive, happy holiday videos. There's nothing sad or depressing, but it's just kind of a, here's what's going on, let's get real kind of video. So I'm gonna tell you what I'm using while I'm putting it on. I got this new like travel mirror. This was recommended by Angie Hot and Flashy. She has a channel. It's the Style Pro Glow and Go Mirror. I'm just opening it up. Uh, it's for travel and it comes with this little case, I think. So cute. It's like felted wool. And the mirror is right here. And let's see. You can charge it, it comes with a charging cable and it lights up and then it also has this mirror which is a 10 times magnifying glass mirror, 10 times magnifying mirror. Anyway, I'm going to use this to film or to put my makeup on while I'm filming this video. <laughs> I've already been filming for four minutes and I haven't even started anything. <laughs> All right, first off, I already have on all my skincare, including my sunscreen. Today, I am wearing the Say Sun Visor, one of my very favorite sunscreens. I think I'm gonna hit empty on this soon, so I'm really hoping to do that. It's such a good feeling when I have so many products to actually use one up, so that's exciting. I don't think I'm sick. I think it's just allergies, so I'll be sneezing and blowing my nose. My nose is always red, and um, that's just part of it. But that sunscreen usually leaves a really dewy finish, and I think you can see that. It does have a little bit of, um, just a little bit of tint to it to keep it from having a white cast, but I don't find it really does any coverage. It just adds a glow and a little bit of blur. I'm going to go in with a product that was in my declutter pile. It is the Jones Road Miracle Balm. I have the shade Magic Hour. I did a review on this. I will link that up above. Once I decided to give this a second chance, I still thought I was gonna declutter it because it has quite a bit of sparkle in it. Not shimmer, but like actual sparkle product particles that you'll see on my face. This is what it looks like. You do break the seal, dig a little bit out, and it is very strongly fragranced for me with essential oils, citrus scent, um, and that really is bothersome for me, but I'm just gonna use a teeny amount. I find that if I use a very teeny amount and put it just in places where I may want a little shine or maybe a little dry, and want product to lay a little bit better on my face, like my foundation specifically, that it actually is an excellent primer. So I think I mostly just got it here. I'm gonna add a little bit more, like a teeny bit. This will probably last me my whole life. So I find that right here around my nose, I've started, my pores are starting to get bigger um, right here as well. And so I'm just putting that anywhere I'd want a primer. And then also up here where I might want some more shimmer and whatever's left just kind of tap it in around my face so it doesn't look like I have the glitter particles just in one spot can you see that I don't know when I go out in the Sun I definitely see it so as you can probably tell from the beginning of this video I've just sort of been frustrated and not so excited about filming my videos and editing them and posting them. If you followed me for a while, you know I started this channel because, well, it's a hobby. I love skincare, I love makeup, I love clean beauty products in general. I started accumulating a lot, wanted to share what I was learning and what I found out, and that's why I started my channel, just purely as a hobby, and I really enjoyed it. I've repurchased one of my favorite foundations from the past, this is the Cure Weiss. I think it's called like the liquid foundation and this is the shade Featherly which is a bit too yellow for me But the one shade lighter is too pale for me Which I may go back to that shade and just add in a little bit of the drunk elephant uh, bronzy 
you know the drops to tint it a little bit because I love the formula um, just letting you know and it's beautiful it comes in this glass packaging I love the scent of Kira Weiss apparently it's chamomile it smells a little bit like play-doh but I love it actually before I go in with that I've repurchased another product that I love it's the well people biocorrect it's their concealer I have the shade 3 n I believe I think I should have gotten 5 in but again that was too deep this one's a little too light so I'm gonna put this on before I put on the foundation so I can put the foundation over it and blend it in better because you'll see this is a bit pale on me I love this concealer it really is a hybrid moisturizer concealer I love the consistency it's creamy it does a nice job of correcting while leaving my skin looking like skin. Going in with my Angie Hot and Flashy Concealer Brush. It's the A506. So part of what happened is I do this as a hobby, but at the same time, it is a lot of work, right? Like I'm sure you've heard other YouTubers comment on the amount of work they put into their channel and the filming and the editing and social media and trying to promote and all this stuff and while it's a hobby and it is all the work and I actually kind of even enjoy that work I don't enjoy the sense of pressure of having to promote my videos and the need to get views and subscribers and and then feeling like since I don't have so many views or subscribers that I'm a failure at what I'm doing when I started it to begin with as a hobby. So I'm in this weird place of sort of like if you're a chef and you know you love cooking for your family and friends and you start out not intending to open a restaurant or anything and you invite your family and friends and they tell you you're really good and then you say okay well you know let's invite more people and it turns out not that many people show up you just start to think like well maybe I'm wasting my time like maybe I'm not that good at this maybe what I have to say isn't that interesting or relevant or helpful or any of those things and it's just become less fun because of a lack of positive positive feedback in the sense of a lack of a boost in subscribers and I hate that I'm feeling that way because the subscribers I do have are wonderful and I so appreciate all the positivity and everything so I'm just in a rough place with that that's where where I'm feeling like do I continue I have subscribers who are loyal and wonderful but the channel isn't growing and so then I feel like I'm failing because that's the only way to measure my success is by the number <clears throat> excuse me of new subscribers and this is a real techniques brush I love it it's the RT 200 I just love it to tap in the product and then buff it around and you saw I put on two drops not dropper fulls two drops of that foundation and I'm just looking for some blurring. You can see I'm hanging out today. It's really cold here. I'm in the mountains at our little condo, which leads me to the next thing of, I've been back and forth between the condo now that it's ski season, even though I don't ski, and our home where we live. And it's just hard to remember to take everything. You know, I need to really pre-plan and make sure I have whatever products I wanna review or use, as well as the lighting and the setup and all those things sort of hard to coordinate. I'm not the most organized person. I'm not a good pre-planner. If you've watched my videos, you know that. You hear that in like every video. Oh, this is the OG Organics Hydroganics Sculpted Face Stick in Copper. Everything I'm using on my face will be linked down below. I'm gonna try to remember to show you, but this is just one of those face sticks. It's in between a Westman Atelier and like a Vapor which I'm sure you've heard by now is going out of business. So if you love vapor products, go ahead and get them on sale. But it's, or even um, also in between like an Ilia, it's not nearly as firm or hard as the Ilia sticks, facial sticks, whatever these things are called, but it's not as soft as a Westman Atelier. I really like the texture of it. And I do use this as a contour. So I'm just gonna draw this on and then I'll blend it in. But anyway, filming has 
just been challenging because of the back and forth as well as trying to find a place to film. At home I have a regular place, but here in the mountains it's very small. We have a little office built out for my husband to use, but no space for me, which on the one hand means I can use the rest of the condo, but on the other hand just means there's really no one spot. Like I tr I've tried this morning to set up in multiple places. We get a ton of natural light, which is a great thing, but it makes it hard for filming because, like right now I have no light on. I mean, oh, I have the ceiling light on behind me, but not even here in the room where I'm in. I don't have a ring light on. This is all just natural lighting. And if it gets too much natural lighting, then it starts to do weird things and the video doesn't look good. So I kind of have to move around the condo depending on the time of day to try to get the lighting right. I'm not going to complain this whole time about the difficulties of me filming. Anyway, filming has been difficult because of remembering to bring everything, pre-planning, which I just haven't done, and then also setting up and finding a space and, you know, between my husband's work schedule, my son coming in and out, just all of that it has been difficult. That's always a challenge up here. I got this Westman Atelier Super Loaded Tinted Highlight. I got it in the shade... I think it's Pot de Rose. It has its own little velvety pouch. It's beautiful, exquisite packaging. I find them very difficult to open. If you don't have nails, you can't get open. There's no real spot to open it. You just kind of shove your nail in and hope for the best. There, I got it. But yeah, um, that's my only gripe. It has a mirror. It's so luxe. It's so beautiful. I can't tell if it's a powder or a cream has no scent, which I think is really funny. You see how that beautiful sheen, it's really gorgeous. I'm not gonna use this today, but this is a recent purchase that I've really, really liked. Actually, I'll just tap this little bit here and here. I know I'm already quite shiny. Let's go ahead and do brows. I love this Mineral Fusion Brow Pencil. It's very inexpensive. I'm the shade Dark Brown. It has a nice, firm spoolie on one end and the other end is a pencil. It's an ashy brown. I don't know how many shades they have, but this shade works for me. It's a harder pencil. It's not real waxy, but it's not too dry either. It's not as dry as the Eco Brow, if you've ever tried that. I don't know, I guess since I have some brows, I feel like I don't need to spend a lot of money on brow products because as long as it the color is good, I can blend it out, make it look natural enough, and it doesn't like wipe off during the day or smear or do anything funky, there's just no reason to spend a lot of money. I haven't tried the Westman Atelier brow pencil yet, although I am curious about it, just to see is there a difference between such an expensive product and this, but I'm so happy with this and my PYT brow pencil, two of my favorites. Yeah, and I love this firm spoolie. It does a great job of just blending the product into my brows. So anyway, I've also been back to traveling a bit, and that has taken me away from filming. I actually planned on filming. I took a trip to Las Vegas, and I took some photos, and we stayed in a beautiful suite. The Hilton opened a new property in Las Vegas on the Strip called, like, something world. It's a terrible name. I was like, I don't even want to stay there. Resort world. Well, there are three levels there. There's the Hilton, the Conrad, and the place that we stayed. And they're all part of the same complex. It was beautiful. We had a great time. We actually went over Thanksgiving. Our son went to the grandparents, and my husband and I met some friends. And it was just great. We had such a good time. Oh, this is the Live Tinted Brow Gel in Clear. I'm really, really liking it. It is a gel, it's not waxy. There is still, you know, not that stiff, gross feeling. There isn't any shine. It's not laminating. Um, yeah, this is a great product. I'm more into clear brow products now, I found, because the tinted ones I've just been having problems with. A lot of the tinted ones have just been too watery and leaving too much product on my skin and taking way too much time, more than I'm interested in putting into my brows. So I'm really liking this clear one from Live Tinted. Anyway, we also went to New York on another trip and I got to see some family and 
that was a wonderful time and I took some fun photos. I don't know that anybody watching my channel wants to see anything about my trip, but I also brought, you know, was gonna film my travel makeup and how it wore and the different climates and all that. Um, but I was just so in the moment and enjoying the travel and time there that I didn't get those filmed. So that also was a reason that I've been absent. And then there's another reason, which is probably the biggest reason, but before we go into that, this is the 100% pure Fruit Pigmented Better Naked Palette. Better Naked Palette. These are the, sh it comes with a highlighter, a blush, and three eyeshadows. It has this little sleeve covering it. I just opened it like two days ago and it's all I wanna wear. It does have a mirror here. It's cardboard packaging. I'm just gonna tell you well, this is actually another reason before I go into the other reason. 100% Pure is my favorite line. Like, if I had to pick one brand that I would only get to use that one brand for the rest of my life, it would be 100% Pure. And I don't talk about it enough on my channel. I feel like nobody talks about it. Their products are fantastic. I love their skincare, their hair care, their body care, and their makeup. And I had one of their palettes, I don't remember what it was called, like Punk or something, that I used for years, but they had discontinued it, so I didn't show it on my channel. This one has been around for a while, and I finally just bought it because I so missed that palette. It's just, it, it's just the best. It's just the best. It's all I need, and I love it. It has these three eyeshadows. I'm gonna swatch all three. They are buttery, they are soft, they are beautiful and they wear beautifully. I'll put them right here. I mean, that was one swipe. I'm trying to see the monitor, sorry. It's like back there. And that's one swipe. My only somewhat issue with it is that there is no matte shade in here to do in the crease, but I don't even care. I don't care, it still looks beautiful. I'll use all three colors today to show you. They're just gorgeous. You can't find a cleaner line out there and have such fantastic performing products. They're matte lipsticks. If, you're, if you like a matte lipstick, they're the best. They're not drying, they're comfortable and very well pigmented. Yeah, I love those. Anyway, so here's the blush. And then here's the highlighter. Oh. Okay, yeah, so I started talking about 100% Pure and how it's my favorite. And I'm up here in the mountains. I don't exactly have the best brushes. Um, these are mostly for cream, but all right, let's see. I'm going in with the middle shade all over. I mean, look how pretty that is. Like, seriously. So part of what happened with my channel as well is to be successful, to grow your channel, to get the views and the likes that you need for YouTube to promote your channel and for me to feel any bit successful on here. I always feel like I need to, or I don't feel like it, I need to always be buying and trying the latest product. I'm just not always interested in the latest product. Like, I didn't wanna try Lady Gaga's foundation. I'm sure it's beautiful, I probably will in the future, but I have a lot of products. I really only keep products that I love and want to use, and I don't wanna be so wasteful as to try, which means buy, every product and new release out there. At the same time, I do get the value, and I understand why that's the case. I'm going in with the deepest shade, and here we go, in my crease. And this is the Westman Atelier. Uh, these are her eyeshadow brushes that I'm using. They're really fantastic for cream, but this is what I have up here. And these are so creamy that it works really well with these two. Um, so I found I don't wanna buy and try every latest product release. And some of them I do try and just, you know, maybe at Sephora or Aaliyah, like the RMS, those new blushes that are like highlighters, I tried them, I don't want them. So I don't wanna buy them and review them. Unless you guys specifically ask me to, that's different, that feels good, that doesn't feel like I'm just 
buying it for no reason. My husband's on a conference call. I hear him laughing back there. That's fun. I really, that's why I went out and bought this. I was like, you know, I just want to go back to using the products that I like, that I want to try, that I want to use, that I enjoy. Not just what I feel socially pressured to buy and try and use. I feel like maybe nobody wants to see just what I like and use. They just want to see, you know, what the newest thing is and if they should buy it or not. And like I said, I totally get the value in that. I don't know. There just hasn't been much that I felt like I really wanted to buy and try. And so then I was like, well, so I'm just not gonna do a video. Everyone's seen all this stuff before that I have uh, because I really try to do a good job rotating out because I wanna use all my products. I have a new blush brush that I just got at Cosbar yesterday. It's the, oh, Jenny Patinkin cheeks brush. I didn't even know what I bought. <laughs> I just went in and said, I need a blush brush, please. Oh, I also got the Indie Lee Body Wash, the Calm one which i haven't used yet this morning um but they sell that there as well okay so i'm going in with the blush now i wonder if the shade names are on here this is bunny it looks like i think someone's vacuuming upstairs now i like this shade it's sort of i don't know is it a neutral paler pink maybe leaning a little bit peachy i don't know i think it's nice it's not like anything else i have really the other and probably the main reason I haven't been filming on top of all of this, I don't even know that it's the main reason. I started working part-time in a clothing store here in the mountains. Since I don't ski or do any winter sports because of physical issues I have, I wanted to do something. I don't just want to sit home all the time because then I just sit and I snack and I eat and I have a glass of wine and it's it's not a good physical outcome for me, especially since everyone's been out getting great exercise and they come back and they eat a lot and I participate with them and yeah, it's not good. So I've been working at a clothing store up here and on the one hand, I love it. It keeps me busy. I am working with a woman, well, actually all of the employees there, except for the winter break holiday help. All of the employees are my age. Like we're all 49. We all have kids around the same age. It's nice to interact with women my age with the same kind of issues going on. It's gorgeous clothing. It's fun. Like the women who come in, it seems like each woman is more beautiful than the next and it's like playing Barbie doll dressing them up. I really enjoy that. At the same time, every woman that comes in is more beautiful than the next. And it's just kind of made me feel bad about myself. I mean, at one point, one woman wanted to buy a dress for her stepdaughter, but her stepdaughter's fat is the word she used. And she didn't know if we would have anything in the store that fit her. And there was another salesperson working with the woman. And the salesperson said, of course we have something for her. You know, what would she like? And the customer looked around the store and said, oh, how about this dress here? But I would need to see it on. Like I need someone to try it on for me to get an idea of if it would fit her. And the salesperson said, well, I'll try it on. Gladly, I'll show you what it looks like. And the customer said, no, no, you're too thin. And she pointed at me and said, how about her? I wasn't exactly insulted because I am the heaviest person there. Um, I need to lose about 10 pounds and I'm short. I'm 5'1". But it just doesn't make you feel good day in and day out to have to be in that environment and to know that that's how you're seen and I know it's my own thing like on the one hand I'm choosing to work there I choose to continue to eat as much as I do I could diet and all those things it's just I haven't felt attractive enough to do a video because between the lack of new subscribers makes me feel like my information isn't very interesting or useful and then to be in that environment and just feel dowdy and you know the unattractive the whole time I feel like nobody's even gonna want to watch me put on makeup or listen to what I have to say so I'm not looking for props or anything I'm just sharing what's been going on I know I don't need highlighter at all but I've never been one to skimp on shimmer and glimmer and shine so I'm gonna go in with my finger and just put this teeny bit in the center of the eye for a little brightening. I hope you can see the difference. And then pop a little bit. I'm just blending it some. 
And I'm gonna pop a little bit with this little pencil brush. This is a Sigma pencil E30. And it just has this little tip. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the tip and put that right here in the inner corner for a little bit of brightening. Oh yeah, and then we have mascara. Actually, I think what I'm gonna do is go in with my super duper old Bobbi Brown eyeliner. I think it's even, you know, real hair back when I used to buy those brushes. This is like probably 20 years old. Um, I'm going in with a deeper shade and I'm gonna line my lashes, my lash line. I'm actually gonna draw a little bit here to try to create the look of a crease. All right, now I'm gonna go in with mascara. I've been using a couple different mascaras. Um, oh, I don't have my lash curler out here with me. I think that's okay. We're not gonna use the lash curler today, okay? It does make a big difference though. If you've never used one, never owned one like I did, or I didn't, it makes a huge difference. I totally, totally recommend a lash curler. I'll link the one that I'm loving from Shiseido. I got it at Sephora. I think it's their number one selling lash curler. Very comfortable. I don't feel any pinching, pulling, no breakage. It comes with an extra cushion. Wonderful. So I'm gonna use this Ilia. It's their volumizing mascara. I kind of like it when I first apply it, but as the day goes on, it leaves a dusting under my eyes. So I don't recommend it. Sorry, I thought my that's my husband creeping in the background. Anyway, I much prefer their Limitless Lash, the original mascara. That one stays beautifully. Here's the fluffy wand on this one. We'll go ahead and put it on. Okay, I did get up and use the restroom and come back, and it looks like I have a mustache of sparkles. I hope some of the, sh the, like, the sparkles are coming through. My whole hand has glitter all over it. Do you see any of that? I don't think you do. It. I have sparkles everywhere from that uh, Jones Road product. And I grabbed my Fit Glow powder. This is the Instantly Blurring Hyaluronic Loose Setting Powder. I believe it only comes in one color, which is white. And I'm just gonna use a dry sponge here because I'm a little more sheeny, shiny than I would like to be. See the difference? I'm looking myself in a mirror. Especially the bags under my eyes. That's the biggest reason I like to use powder <clears throat> to take down the shine there. You guys, I just saw the powder that was stuck here, so I have smoothed that out. <sighs> Not in time for the end of the video, as you'll see, but um, I was hoping that you could see the sparkles from that Jones Road product, but I don't know that it's coming through, which is just incredible because it looks like I stuck glitter all over my face. Now for lips, I did also buy the Well People, well, it's their fault that I can't read it. It's in white back here. This is some kind of lip balm that looks like it should be kind of sparkly and glossy, but I really find it's quite hard, which I actually like, that it doesn't come oozing out. You're not gonna get too much product. It's like um, definitely harder than Aquaphor Vaseline but definitely softer. Like it doesn't need to be in stick form. It's kind of perfect. It has a little bit of a minty, pepperminty scent and is just that, a balm. So I've been putting this on usually, usually earlier in the routine so my lips are not dry and they're ready to receive product. <clears throat> and then I had been using the Fit Glow Nude Lip Liner, but let me show you. It's a really pretty shade. I actually love it like a cooler pinkish brown. But what I find is it's actually lighter than my lip shade. So the one that's been perfect for me is the Tower 28 One Liner in Work of Art, which I wouldn't have thought, but I actually need, which is just deeper, darker, and more chocolatey. Especially when I, you know, spread them out a teeny bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with Work of Art and I'm overlining a little bit. Even though this is a multi-use liner, I really don't use it anywhere else. I have used it on my eyes some, which is fine, but really I just use it as a lip liner and it's nice. Now, I've been reaching for quite a few lip products. 
If I want to go red, I've been using the Elate, this lip color in Prim. It's a pencil. It's beautiful. Makes your teeth look nice and white because it has quite a bit of blue in it. Really pretty and comfortable. I do use it on top of a lip balm and it stains the lips. You can also, you know, shear it out a little bit to get that nice popsicle stain. Really pretty. Another red that I've been using is the Henne Organics in Intrigue. It is a balm formula and this is a much browner red. It actually just looks brown compared to that red, but um, it's it's really a lip balm formula very comfortable, but a nice amount of pigment also I love the formula of this Kosa sport. I have the shade pulse I hate the scent and I hate how messy it is this you see how it gets all around the edges here It smells like spearmint, which I hate not peppermint. I would like peppermint but This just smells gross to me but the formula and the shade, I really like. It's rosier than the one that I just showed you from Henny Organics, but it's also a balm and it's thick and it's comfortable and moisturizing and hydrating, really nice to wear. It is messy on the lips. This is the softest of all the products I've shown you so far. So to put it on the lips is quite messy, but I just find it such a great lip balm with color. It really is more of a lipstick with a balm texture than it is a lip balm. When I think of a lip balm, something like this, I think of it as less pigmented, I guess. But this has a nice amount of pigment. Okay, I've also been loving my Ritual Defee Water Violet. I can't remember the name of this formula, but again, I'll link it below. And this is much more purpley. I'm gonna put it on the other side of the red right here. Also more of a balm formula. Oh, I just love this one. Should I wear that today? I know my cheeks are not at all that color, but I can add it. So comfortable as well. I love this and it, I love that it's slim and it's light, easy to stick in a pocket. And then of course, I've been reaching for a lip gloss. This is the Tower 28 in the shade Coconut. Also very comfortable. I think I'm gonna do my Ritual Defeat and then maybe I'll put some lip gloss on top. I hope I've adequately explained What's been going on without sounding too whiny? I'm afraid I've come off very whiny and complainy, which is not my intention, especially since this is all by choice. All of it, working at the clothing store is my choice. Doing YouTube videos is my choice. My weight is my choice. My height is not my choice. <laughs> I am going to continue with my channel. I think, you know, everybody has low spots now and then, and that's just what's going on. And also, you guys, I mean, I do have a ton of money invested in it, in all my products. Like, we added up. It was thousands and thousands of dollars that I spent last year on all this stuff. And I think that's part of it, too, is, you know, I have these affiliate links. I can make a small commission from them. And so far, I've made $34. And I only get a check once I hit $50. Like, that $34 is sitting in a as a credit in there. I'm not looking to make money off this channel. I'm really not. It's just all the things added up. The lack of subscribers, my low self-esteem momentarily, which I'm sure I'll bounce back. And then, you know, the financial cost and lack of replenishment in any way. It's just, um, and then my own frustrations of filming location and planning and it's just taken a minute for me to get back into it, but I will. I know me. I will bounce back. I still love this stuff. I'm still putting on makeup every day just to vacuum. I'm still trying new products. <laughs> I still went to Cause Bar yesterday just to see what was there. You know, I bought the new Westman. Well, it's not new to Westman Atelier, but I bought the new Peau de Peche, you know, that highlighter. So I'm not really going anywhere or ending this channel. I'm just sharing some of my struggles, you know, even with things we love, sometimes there's a struggle, like parenting, we love our kids and want to spend time with them, and yet sometimes it's frustrating, things like that. Let me know what you guys want to see this upcoming year, what you would like to see for my channel, what you, yeah, I guess that's it, what you want to see for my channel. I'd love to hear from you, I really would. If you've made it this far, please do give the video a thumbs up, and if you're not already subscribed, it means a lot to me if you would please subscribe. And as always, I hope you find some time to pamper yourself today.
Bye.